What's going on everyone? Welcome back to T3G. My name is Dalibor and today we are going to be deciding what is the most important part of any production. Stick around. So here we are. This is an old, old phone and I'll get to that in a minute. But we have just like a single, I think it's like a soft, soft white, although it's looking pretty orange right now. And we're just doing internal audio and, and this is like the bare minimum, right? We're gonna take a look at what happens when you change each one of those variables. First, we're gonna go ahead and add stabilization because right now I'm just holding it with my hand and we're gonna go ahead and add just a tripod. All right, so here we are on just a single, well, I say tripod, but it's a monopod selfie stick kind of thing. And this is already looking, looking better, right? However, has that changed your experience at all? I don't really think it has. So let's go ahead and put this on a tabletop and put a better light to change the lighting and improve the quality that way. All right, so now we've got a nice daylight color coming from ahead. I've got uh, soft white coming from the ceiling and we're still on the same camera here, the same old phone that I have. The phone is now on a stable surface. We have what I would call kind of the traditional cell phone vlogger look, right? It's not a ring light, but it is a nice bright diffused LED. And this is your kind of traditional cell phone vlogging, cell phone, you know, online personality rig. Now, I still think we could do better, even with this. And I think this is where the key comes in. And I think this is the most important variable in this entire matrix, audio. So let's go ahead and put on a mic and show the difference here. All right, now I've got a lob on me and I think this is the huge difference. I think this is where change starts to happen. This is where production quality increases. Before you even touch the camera that you're using, before you even consider, oh, let me buy a new lens or this or that, before you touch any of that, once you have lighting and you have audio, the camera starts to become less of a factor. Because right now, what I'm saying is what's most important and what you're seeing is not necessarily the most important aspect. Obviously in different situations, different types of videos, that is going to change. But for something like this, where you're talking to the camera, for talking headpieces, for product reviews, for educational content, I mean really, most content, audio is gonna be the key. Because guess what? People watch montages of photographs when it has good sound. If there's a good song to it, if there's a good narration to it, People will watch just about anything. If the audio is good and your message is presented in a strong fashion, people are gonna watch it. And now we're gonna switch to a camera to show, granted, of course, there is going to be a difference, but just how little difference there is in your experience as a viewer. And now here we are on the Canon M10 kit lens, 14, I think 18 to 45, something like that. And the audio is the same, right? It's the same source of audio. The only thing that's changed is got a little bokeh, it's a little cleaner, but overall, it just looks prettier, right? And for a lot of things, I would say many, I don't wanna say most, there is a lot of content that requires visual attention, right? If you are reviewing a specific product, you're talking about the thing that's in your hand, right? If, if I'm telling you about this camera, it's nice to be able to see this camera properly and be able to see pieces, right? But at the same time, if I was to use that same phone as before, light it better and record B-roll while I'm talking, if the audio is good, you're gonna get the same information. The key here is the message being listened to needs to be top notch. And for them to hear it, it needs to sound good. On a very real example, I almost stopped watching the first season of Teen Titans. The audio crew, screwed that whole season. I don't know that I'll ever go back and watch that first season because y you can't listen to it. It's almost not possible to understand it because it's there was no audio balancing happening. It, it almost seemed like whoever handled the vocal audio did not have any communication with the people that handled the music audio and the fight choreography audio. So when you have like the sound effects and the fights and the music super loud and then a conversation happens and it drops 20 dB, and you're like, I can't hear anything. So I mean, let me turn it up. And then the music starts and a fight happens and then it all blows out the speakers. It's not done right. So it just ruins the experience. The entire season, all I thought about, every time there was a fight, I'm like, all right, gotta grab the remote. 
because I, I got into this routine of uh, now I have to adjust the volume because they did not do a good job. The best movies and the best shows are the ones that you don't ever have to think about how to adjust your environment to get the best experience. You should just be able to get the best experience. Like It should be done. When you get a show, when you get a video, it should be done. Aside from your personal volume preference, there should be no like, oh, now we're up here and now we're down here and you, you know, I gotta figure out where to, the levels are all off and, and it, it, it just ruins the experience. When you hit play as a viewer, you expect the product to be done. You wanna be able to experience it. Having to adjust your sound levels every five seconds because someone's all of a sudden talking like this and then you're like, what, 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 what are you saying? Why, why do I need to turn up the volume? And then it's like, all right, then I'm back up to full volume. And it's like, ah, oh, shit. Like, ah, you're really messing with my whole vibe here. Like, I wanted to hear what you had to say, but you're, uh, 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 you're all over the place. And I stopped caring. So at the end of the day, audio, I think, is the number one factor in this matrix of camera, lighting, audio, and stabilization. Stabilization is probably the least important if I was to rate them it would go audio as a, as a far distant number one uh, lighting as a number two camera as a distant three and stabilization absolutely last now it can you you might be able to like readjust some of those ratings depending on the situation it, it really it like it is a matrix that's why like all of these things kind of coexist it's that's why they call it the exposure triangle right shutter speed and iso are not independent values they are codependent right if you increase one and de or decrease the other it affects what you're getting and how it comes out so if you have great audio and like garbage, like potato cam, lighting is gonna be massive key, right? So it's gonna be like lighting all the way up right next to, to audio and stabilization 100%, because if it's a potato cam, then I'm just looking at blurry images. Don't believe me? Pick any vlog from five years ago, make it 144p, and then tell me it's watchable. End of the day, these are just my thoughts on the production matrix. I, I feel like I'm coining a term, so production matrix, I like that. It's a good one, production matrix. It, because all of these things are part of the production. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it, the production matrix. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, drop them down below. And uh, that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.